Hello everyone, today I will continue with the cleaning the rails because the building is starting with placing rails on the frames so that's why first I need to clean them uh, I will apply the same procedure, I will clean them with the WD-40 and after that I will apply the hot air a little bit and after that I will apply the EP2 grease it's the same one that I use in the V2 and that's all basically and later on once they are finished I will put them on the uh, frames. So let's start. First one, small correction. I will clean them with isopropyl alcohol, not WD-40. While I'm cleaning this, I'm also remo removing the carriage. If you are not confident enough, just leave it as it is and clean them. I mean, clean them here and move it, clean them in here. So, because it's, it's really easy to lose these balls while you are removing or putting back them. Like I said, if you are not confident enough, just leave them as it is and clean part of it and move the carriage, clean the remaining parts. As you can see, one ball is dropped. Place it back. I am just creating a space somewhere in the middle. Carefully, I am I'm leaving the ball on top of the wire and gently touching it, pressing it and seeing its place back. As you can see, I am applying the grease on top of the balls we will clean the excess of course i'm also applying side of the rail and top of the rail now i need to put the carriage back yeah with the grease it's now harder to place the carriage If you are removing your carriage, check the excess grease, there could be one, luckily there is no on mine. And yeah, after applying just move your carriage back and forth until you are satisfied with the movement apply grease on the on the rail I will take the excess grease inside the holes I'll put stoppers back carriage and not leave the uh, rails unintended then I will also clean the top of the carriage with the isopropyl alcohol Inside of the carriage, I will also clean the back of the rail because we don't need grease in there. Also, these parts can be cleaned. The side part of the carriage is carefully taking the excess. Yeah, I'll try one more try. Yeah, seems nice. That's all. Now I will continue with the remaining four carriage and see you once they are finished. and I sorted them for the axis for I choose the best for the X and 
second best for the Y and worst for the Zs. Now we will install the carriage for the Y rails. So for that we need to use E uh, frames which is defined in here. You can refer the 10th and 11th page for it. E frame is just have one hole with the offset of 29.5 millimeters and there is nothing other than that. It needs to be also tapped like I said before all of them are tapped for my I think form both is doing like that and I also prepared the installation guides and we need this rail installation guides these jigs and we will use M2 by 6 screw I realized that manuals manual says we need to use button head but I got socket head so these are not button heads M2 by 6 I think it will not give me issue for the rails but I don't know where else we are using yeah it's it's not a problem for the rails but like I said I don't know where we are using the other M26 it can cause a problem due to clearance issues but let's see for rails like I said it will be fine I don't know does it matter or not but manual shows that these empty spaces is should be nearby the hole so I will use it also like that I think it does not matter but yeah I will just do exactly what manual shows and we need to put nut holder the the open size where we are putting the nuts should look to frame i mean we sh should install like this and it's a little bit snug fit in my case but it's fitting then these are the y rails so i will get my y rails and of course we will use our jigs so insert your jigs do a little bit alignment the hole and insert your jigs at the end screw the first and last one but do not tighten it yet i realized that the, the nut is dropped in there so be careful about that so that's why it's actually not screw was not actually screwing itself to the nut now yeah like i said we need to screw first and last with the centering white now a little bit tightening them now we can remove our idler we will screw every other hole except this one the second and the third from the end will be empty uh, by the way don't screw it yet we need to adjust offset in here we may need to slide the rail so i'm not tightening any of them and just we need to give 38 millimeter offset in here I just set my caliper to 38. Now uh, we can use this part as a template for the other one also. So it needs to be needs to slide a bit. Yeah, this should be fine. Now put our centering again, and now I will tighten them again, starting with the first and last. First of all, we don't need to torque a lot these screws. We just want to firmly tight, and while you are doing the last. A tightening don't use the ball end because it's a uh, this is m2 and you can break the ball end and it can cause issue or you can polarize the the screw screw head so it's worse so use the other hand while you are doing the final screwing uh, final tightening but don't over tight the first one is done now i will do the second one it's the same I finished the Y rails. I will install the old rails instead of going with the manual. I will prepare them. And the next one is Z rails. For the Z rails, we need C extrusion, which, which has two holes in the at the beginning and at the end. And these holes are 7.5 millimeter offset. This is the <clears throat> issue with this method, as you can see. The nut no longer is holding its place. I will try the super glue first, and if it doesn't work, I will reprint this part. The fault is mine. If you can see, the, there is a super glue inside the nut, so that's why the screw was not screw stuck with that and rotate the nut itself. Uh, I will print this one again, but we can continue with this one. Uh, in the Z rail, there should be 33 millimeter offset. Uh, by the way, I found. Using this one is easier instead of caliper.
y axis also finished. This can be really frustrating. So I found a way. Maybe you already know, but if you don't know, you can use it. So what I'm doing, I'm just first placing the nut, then with small screwdriver or something, I'm applying the super super glue later after placing the nut. So only for the corners. Do I don't go the inside here? Only apply the corners, and it's working that one. I hope it will work on the x-axis. So yeah, these are the y-axis, these are the z-axis. Now we will do the x for x-axis. We need to use a extrusion. A is yeah, it's plain no hole, no pret up. So this one, no hole. Yeah, it's pret up, but if you are doing yourself, you don't need to pre -tap, uh, tap this so we will again insert this guide and x-axis also finish I also tighten the rail I just took the measurements with the joints basically tighten it and its position the rails are ready so we can proceed or build and that's it for this episode. In the next one, we will continue with the frame assembly. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.